Did you recently get a new camera for YouTube and thought, the camera's way over there. I'm way over here. How am I supposed to record myself? I found the solution. Hey everybody, it's Havoc. Welcome to another video. On my stream recently, we talked about me purchasing the Canon M200 that my plan is to use for not only the stream, but also to record some YouTube videos. Now, when I have it set up to record YouTube videos, I wanted the ability to where I can just click a button, it would start recording, I click a button, it would stop recording. After doing some research, I found this little guy, the Odolin BREA1. All right, before we get started, full transparency, I purchased this product myself. It was not given to me or sponsor or anything. And second, we are not recording this video on the Canon M200 because I don't have it set up yet. We're still using the Logitech C922. Just want to make sure that was all out there so you know the quality of what we're working with, so on and so forth. So here's the Amazon page for the Odolin remote here that we talked about earlier. This is the BRE1A. It is $32.99 right now. And it shows the different models it works with here. Um, the M200 is not listed as one of the models. I took a shot in the dark, it works. Now there are a couple things that do not work, or at least I haven't figured out how to make them work with the Canon M200, and we'll get to those in a little bit. But one of the main reasons I bought this was I plan on getting like a Canon M50 or Canon M50 Mark II or a better camera in the future, and I wanted to have something that would work with those. So when I found this, I thought I'd give it a try. Again, it's $32.99 right now on Amazon. You can click the link down in the description, it'll take you right to it. You can also go over and they have an actual Canon version of this that is $42.95 right now. It does the exact same thing. It looks almost exactly the same. The buttons got the same layout. I'll also link that down in the description as well of the video. All right, let's get into the setup of how you make this work with your Canon M200. So right now we're recording this with my Canon G7X. This is my old vlogging camera. And we're gonna look at the screen here on the Canon M200. So the first thing you wanna do is go into the Canon M200 settings and uh, you need to go over to remote control here and make sure this is enabled. One other thing I found that will not work with this remote is it cannot control the camera if you don't have uh, the HDMI display on. So you do that, you go over here to number five on the Canon M200 and where it says HDMI info display, this needs to be with info. If you have it turned to clean output, like if you're using it for as a webcam or whatnot, the remote cannot control it. That's one thing I found with this is that it has to have that setting enabled to show the HDMI display. Next, what you wanna do is go over here to the connection settings and then you have Wi-Fi Bluetooth connection. We're gonna go down here to the remote uh, connect to wireless remote. We'll go into that, and then it's gonna say, add a device to connect to. We'll go ahead and do that. So now that it is in the pairing mode, what you wanna do is bring the remote over near, and you want these two middle buttons here. You hold both of those down. You'll see the light will flash. Once it flashes, hit that middle button, and then you should see it paired. There we go. We're now paired with the remote. One thing I wanted to mention, if your pairing fails, you need to come over here on the side of the remote. You have three settings. The top setting is what you set it to when you want to take pictures. The bottom setting is what you slide it down to when you want to control video recording. And the middle one or two, that's the one you use for pairing. So you wanna make sure the slider is in the middle to the number two when you go to pair it with the camera. All right, now that they're paired, I'm gonna show you a test here. So we have the remote. I'm gonna press the remote, the button on the remote, and you can see the camera is now recording. I'm gonna press it again, stops recording. Perfect. Also, if the autofocus is out of place, you can hit the AF button right here, and you can see the camera's autofocus goes in. What does not work with this remote is the zoom in and zoom out buttons for actually zooming in and zooming out the lens on the camera. Now, we have it switched over to camera mode or photo mode, and I'm going to hit the button. Taking pictures. And there you have it. The Odolin BRE1A works great with the Canon M200 and a slew of other cameras. If this video helped you out, 
be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you know when that next video drops. Until next time, GG.